live from the command center of JW Sula USA. Let's talk about my LEV 60F 3.2 volt 74 amp hours life fuel life PO4 power cells that uh, I've been working on. Guys, I've done some modifications. This cell, uh, let me tell you a little bit about this. This guy is a 3.2 volt nominal and the voltage range you can start from uh, 2.0 to 3.5. That, that means you can charge this battery all the way to 3.5 volts. That gives you a, a full charge about 14 volt. And if you drop it all the way to 2.0, that means the battery is already depleted at um, 8 volts. So if you multiply 2 times 4 is 8. So uh, 3.2 times 3.2 times 4, that gives you a 12.8 volt nominal. But if you charge to 3.5, that is 3.5 times 4 gives you 14 volt max charge. So I just want to elaborate about that today. And uh, these cells, the max power these cells can pull, you can pull up to about 1780, 1780 watt at 25 degrees C. You can pull that kind of number in uh, 10 seconds. The max current you can pull from that 25 degrees C at a state of charge, um, a maximum current state of charge of 600 amps in 10 seconds. This battery can deliver that kind of power. And the resistance in this battery is 0 0.7 ohms at 10 seconds. The maximum charge and discharge current is 180 amps to 180 amps continuous at 25 degrees C. These batteries can deliver so much power and each cell is a 74 amp hours which is um, 259 watt hours per cell. That, that being said, if you multiply 3.5 five times 75 amp hours that will give you 257 watt hours each cell these ones are designed okay they are designed to produce a lot of power designed for a car so don't worry about this here i'm trying to calculate whatever is um is a 4S2P, but before I put the shrink wrap, now it's a 4, a 4S3P. So, 1, 2, 3. So, I can get uh, 4 more of these. Because it's a 12, 3, a 4, a 12. I can get 4 more of these. That will give us a 48 volt, which is um, 16S. Doesn't mean I don't have them, I do. I do have them, but just about adding four here, I need 12 batteries total, 12 cells. I need, no, 16. I need four more of these for this pack here that gives a 48 volt, which is 16S. 16S at 75 amp hours. Okay, if I put this all in series, Okay, that will give us that 58.8, something like that approximately. Do the math, or 56.8, whatever. And um, I have a bunch of them that I need a 12 to give me about three strings. I need, I think, 12 more to give me a three strings. No, give me a four strings. Four strings of yeah, four strings. So, so 16S 4P. So what I've done today, I decided to add. I don't want this battery just sitting here. 
I decided to add a battery monitor but made by Renogy. You can see that. So the total amp hours on this battery right now is say you calculate 74 times three because we have three strings here. That gives you 222 amp hours, okay, at 12 volts. I decided to incorporate, I've, I've already explained how these batteries were wired um, on several videos. If you, uh, you didn't get it, so go back, look for this battery on, um, on my uh, play, playlist, then you'll see it. So I wired these batteries, okay, all the way to negative right here and all the way so it's supposed to be a positive right here. They all came and met right here. And uh, this one comes from here. Okay. From there and all the way to this. And you can see. No. This one comes from here and all the way to that. And this one comes all the way. So that's how you see all the positives. All the positives are here. Positives are here, positives are here. So boss spot comes this. I put um the positive wire on his and I put um what I think is a 200 amp power of 400. It's supposed to be there. Look at it closely. I think it's a 300 amps fuse. Yeah, I think it's a 300 amp fuse then it's gonna blow so that's what I did and the shunts comes all the negatives comes from here so I tap into this batch last cell right here I brought it all the way to this and they all parallel to here with um, two gauge wire you can see it is a royal excellent cable and it's a welding cable this is a 62 millimeter square welding cable at 600 volt and at 50 degrees C 250 degrees C is a made in USA real excellent cable and um, the shunt is right here it has the uh, power cable which is the positive so what I have done I just lay them in between this gutter and this is the power that comes to the positive of the shunt so that we can able to get a reading to this since the shunt already tied on the B minus the battery they come to B minus all these come to the B minus right there okay let me try and zoom it you see the B minus so this is the plus the plus goes to the load which is the neutral part of or negative part of the inverter, the Magnusign Magnum MMS1012. Okay, is the G1012? Uh, yeah. So, um, what else again? So that gives because of the positive there, we're in the communication right here. That wire I just dropped in the gutter right here, and brought it all the way. And get plugged on the back of this guy. So this is a uh, Renogy. So mine is a 500 amps. See right there. Let me hold this camera steady. Able to read it. Okay, so it's made by Renogy. So, um, just a cheap meter because I was gonna put the um, the Victron into it, but I'm utilizing my Victros into heavy uh, projects. I monitor everything, and um, these batteries you see here, these are the Volkswagen E Golf batteries. They're right here. That's a different ball game. And I just decided to show you guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to initialize um, a power drawer. Because this battery right now is full. 
and uh, let's turn the inverter on. You see that? That's the upright freezer. It pulls almost about 1.1 kilowatt hour, 1.1 kilowatt when it start up. So this is the deal, and you see the battery voltage already dropped too because I was trying to top it off, and um, it didn't take all the way to the 122 because the inverter's um, standby is doing that. It's taking juice, and now it's registering everything. So it's selling about 23 hours, 19 minutes for this um, 222 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. We're putting about 10.7 amps, 148 watt. It's taking it right now. So we see that 13.7. So um, before the battery just get cold sitting here. So I set up a little system. And you guys have seen all the um, reviews I've been doing with these uh, batteries that uh, we get sent with different companies. We have batteries from Golden Mate, and we have batteries from um, uh, Greener Power. Okay, so now you can see them in real life. These are the batteries that we already tested that came from three manufacturers. And yeah, we've done all this review on these batteries. If you're interested on these batteries, make sure you go through my videos and you will see how, I've, how I have already talked about these batteries, re re review them. Just like this guys here, they came from battery hookup. And these are the batteries. Well, this company contacted me first. And these guys came second. But these guys sent their battery that arrived earlier, faster than these guys. Okay. And from there, we've done that review. And this one came. And from there... This one we just got a couple days ago. Came, I think, is on Thursday. Um, almost coming to the end of the month. I think it's the 23rd or 24th, whatever. I don't know, remember the date. But it's on Thursday. I got this one. And this is what we just made videos of. All these guys, they have a safety cap. This is the only guy who doesn't have the safety cap. Uh, prevention or whatever for you know for spark they have QR codes all of them this one and I don't think this one does have any QR code see this guy is a little guy but it's very 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 powerful watch the videos and this guy right here and QR code right here they're all built-in BMS on them they have all BMS built-in and but the only one which is a smart one, you can see the cells themselves, how they balance is this guy here. And this one is the most expensive battery, it's like 300 some dollars. And they have the other one that has the multimeter up here, um, like a display meter, something of this nature. Um, it's up here. So this is the golden mate. Um, this is the sorry, the golden mate is here. This is the model. They're all 12.8100, and this is a LFP 12100. So 12 volts, 100 amps at 1280 watt hours. They're all 1280 watt hours. This is the go kilowatt lithium ion phosphate. And this is a lithium ion phosphate. And this is a lithium ion phosphate. They're all 1280s. What hours? You can see right here. All under damp. The same specifications. The same. Right? And the same right there. 
You see it right here. This is 100 amp. Okay. So we start having a collection of batteries here. Um, they sent us for reviews. So they are like souvenirs. Now they're sitting here. Um, we got to find something to do with them. And, uh, well, these are the most thing I've been talking about today. So we have the modification. There's a fuse now on this, sitting on top of these. The wire get chucked in this gutter. We have a battery monitor. And here goes the, um, the magnet sign, the inverter I'm using for the 12 volt system. Very, very powerful, it was a low frequency. It has a huge transformer here. Okay. So it has a remote. Then I have this guy here for charging. And this is the remote for it. The MERC 50. So Midnight Energy Dash 50. Uh, this is a M E A R C Midnight. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Magnus Sign Energy Advanced Remote 50. It has a fave right here. Favorite that makes a difference to the the RC 50. It has a cable just like a RJ 12, like a telephone cable. So. I just want to show you some little setups here and set up there just sitting here just we can cycle them they can power the freezers I take the freezers off grid and um, yeah that's what it is no if you don't put them to use yet or you don't have much to complete your project yet trying to put them to work they can save you some money so I don't just want to cycle these batteries than the other ones and uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter but um, just being conscious so well just decided to show you guys is the battery monitor here let's see how far we can able to go with this now we can able to tell the batteries what to charge on we can charge them effectively and um, super nice right okay thanks for watching love you guys all like and subscribe jw solo usa live from minnesota and uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that we can able to uh we can able to get um notification anytime i post a video you don't have to look for me you can just get in Bing on your thing right there on your phone or your your TV, your computer, your tablet, any device you use has a an Android on it, then you can get or Apple. So this is what it is. Okay? Thanks for watching. But well, the bus bars, they're designed to be handling over uh what 400 amps, something like that. I ordered them. And uh so expensive. And I uh, just have to do what I got to do. The other ones I ordered from uh, Battery Hookup, they can only take about 100 amps. So they don't go that high. All right. These are 48 volts. You'd be good. But if you pull in more than 100 amps, like the specification I read to you, this battery can spike too hard. All right. Take care. Bye for now.